This page lists known flights with stowaways, who for various reasons traveled inside the wheel well landing gear compartment, also known as wheel bay of an aircraft. Between 1947 and June 2015, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration FAA had recorded 113 such attempts on 101 flights either departing from or landing in the United States. Of these 113 people, 86 76% died. In other instances, stowaways traveled either in a cargo hold or in a spare parts compartment, both of which are pressurized. Those incidents are excluded. Wheel well stowaways face considerable danger during takeoff, cruise, and landing. Immediately after takeoff, the landing gear retracts into the wheel wells, potentially crushing the stowaway. During flight at altitudes above approximately 2,500 meters 8, feet, hypothermia becomes a risk and reduced atmospheric pressure and partial pressure of oxygen may impair physiological processes. At all cruising altitudes of jet aircraft, the partial pressure of oxygen in a wheel well is below that required to support brain consciousness. At altitudes above 6,000 meters 20, feet, stowaways may also develop decompression sickness and nitrogen gas embolism. Temperatures also decrease with altitude, and may drop as low as minus 63 degrees Celsius minus 81 degrees Fahrenheit. As the plane descends to lower altitudes, a gradual rewarming and reoxygenation occur, however, if the stowaway does not regain consciousness and mobility by the time the landing gear is lowered during final approach, or has already died, the body may fall from the aircraft. According to the FAA, it is likely that the number of stowaways is higher than records show due to bodies having fallen into the ocean. In at least one instance, on July 31, 2013, a cat survived a flight from Athens to Zurich in the front undercarriage of an Airbus A321. <laughs> List <laughs>